So, hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. There's baby. Hey you guys. <laughs> so, today is my first official day to work from home. So, I'm about to go log on and work for about at least, work for about four hours, take a break, and then I'll get back on for another three. Um, policy here is to work six hours while I'm home but it is no well policy is to work six hours while I'm home and since we're in the hour overtime it's supposed to be stepping but I'm going to do the eight and a half that I normally do if I was in-house so yeah I'm about to go knock out at least four and a half hours right now and take a break and then I don't know what we have planned for today I'm gonna go get day breakfast and come take a nap what you want to say, babe? Babe, you on the camera. Are you going to rub me? <laughs> before all that? She did ask me to give her a back rub before I get on the computer. So I'm going to do that. Let her settle down so I can work. Okay, now I feel better. So, I am not going to bug Lexus while she's working from home. I'm going to try not, not I'm not going to aggravate her. She's not on the phone. Just thank God for that. So while she's doing that, I'm going to, we have so many things to wrap and to ship mm -hmm. and orders to be preparing and getting off. So I'm going to be productive um, and I am going to sit and do that. Uh, I was in some pain this morning, but I'm going to try to be productive today. And not bug Alexis. <laughs> because she only gets to be home for two weeks every other day. Mm -hmm. And after two weeks, she gets to be home every day. So I don't want to drive her back to the office yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to watch Christmas movies. And then I'll probably just sit and, and watch my wife work. Is that weird? I'm so silly. You guys, I don't know. I'm, I mean, she's definitely not leaving me in this room. I'm tracking right behind her into the living room. <laughs> so I'm probably going to go find my way to the living room. And maybe play with Stormy for a little while. Stormy's so wild. I would play with Stormy for a little while. Um, look at how much And what she play. means by play is let Stormy lay on her. That's what she means by play. Oh, yeah. That's what she does. <laughs> Stormy, yeah. And she, yeah, she, she, play, she, well. Ooh, my stomach grabbing. She plays by herself well. <laughs> if she's sitting on you. I like the way she stretches out on me. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. And sit in there and watch my wife and get on my chair. That's just for me. And recline it back. Make sure you got a pillow when you sit up. And try to get comfortable. Because I don't sleep well. Excuse me, I had a I don't sleep well. I don't know. So my recliner, it's okay. It's a pretty good sit. Mm -hmm. As long as I have a pillow behind me. And I'll probably turn on the Hallmark or Channel 20. More AMC to watch Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. since Lex so is, cute. Since Lex is not on the phone. Yeah. It shouldn't be a distraction. Because when she's at work, they're loud. They are. Very loud. <laughs> I don't see how they do anything or can focus. Because they're so very loud. They laugh loud, they talk loud, they work loud. <laughs> but see, where I'm at, on my side, everybody puts in their headphones. So that's how they're able to block out the noise. But we have our side, and then my my row separates us from customer service. So you always hear customer service in the background. But yeah. Um, no, if that's customer service, I don't know if that's all customer service, because they be extra loud. Talk to some people on the phone. So, I should be able to watch um, some Christmas movies while she works. And then if I'm bugging her, I guess I'll maybe I'm back to the room and I'm going to do, do some reading. <laughs> oh, we have some good news, guys. Um, we do. The lady that lives across the street, we have it, uh, not across the street, across the hall. You guys know I have a soft place for elderly people. And I love her. She's so <laughs> sweet. So, we have an elderly lady that lives across the hall from us. Um, we haven't seen her since 
I think a couple of days before Thanksgiving. And to, for us to know that she's home, we always pay attention in the morning. She'll open her blinds or at night she'll always have on her room light. And we haven't been seeing that for like the last, what, three, three weeks now? To Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we were trying to, we were very concerned. Um, and then some packages have been left in front of her door and we know that that's not normal. So um, a couple of days ago, we didn't know that she's always lived here. Just not in this building, but she's always lived here. Um, a couple that they they say they adopted her as their mother or whatever. So when they knocked on the door, they was like, they're the family of her. You know, they're the family of her. I'm not going to say her name on here. But they're the, they're her family. So Babe was like, so y'all don't have her? Like, we haven't seen her since a couple of days before Thanksgiving. And the way everybody's mouth dropped at that moment, we were all, like, scared in our feelings because we didn't know what was going on. But luckily, we um, were able to get in contact with her. She is fine. She's with her, um, what is it, her brothers? Mm-mm. We did a um, welfare a, check. We called the police for a welfare check mm-hmm. once we realized that she wasn't with who we thought was her we thought that those were that was her like Blood, daughter, her daughter or d- daughter yeah. and husband or something like that. So we called in for a welfare check, and um, the police came and their apartment complex was able to open the door and do a walkthrough, and they said nothing was disturbed. So we knew she was. I was. We were very grateful that she wasn't in there. Mm-hmm. So we found out like where she went to church. Um, called the church. We knew that. I mean, I kind of felt a little bit at ease because it was rent due at the beginning of December. Mm -hmm. And although we didn't see her since Thanksgiving, she didn't have anything at her door showing where she She was late or anything. Because they don't play. The next day, they put a note on your door. door. So we knew that her rent was paid, but we didn't know if her rent was paid, you know, where it came directly from an account. Mm -hmm. So a little bit I was worried, but then again, I was, you know, I was still worried because I didn't know where she was. Um, But we were able to get in touch with church. Church mm-hmm. was able to get in touch with her brothers, her daughter, mm-hmm. and all these people. And we found out that um, she went to her relatives for Thanksgiving because we saw her a couple of days. That's what she told us. Mm-hmm. But we thought, okay, well, maybe she was out of town. Mm-hmm. And she just had to come back. But I was like, that's too long for her to be gone. I mean, not that I know it's too long for her to be gone, but <laughs> I thought it was too long for her to be gone from way before Thanksgiving. And we most at Christmas and nothing at all and so she went to her brother as well we eventually we got in touch with her and mm-hmm. we was able to talk to her and she told us that on thanksgiving she had come back but we weren't home yeah yeah, we, you guys know we we weren't here we weren't home and she said she had we didn't get back till late anyway she had fallen mm-hmm. and she was like on the floor for hours I think broke my heart Mm -hmm. like that really broke my heart and she was like she was able to finally feel for her cell phone and her brothers came and got her and she's at the hospital and she's in rehab but I was so like I was really upset I was really upset with myself because well during the time she was gone I was going over there ringing a bell knocking the door kind of still looking of course apartment complex wouldn't tell us anything you know I didn't, you know, I didn't want to put out no Amber Alert on her. I mean, I don't know what it's called for the elderly. I forgot what it's called for the elderly. But I was like, well, you know. And then when our youngest son was concerned, mm-hmm. I knew, you know. Oh, it was an issue. It's an issue when he said, well, you ha- have you um, seen this, um, you know, so-and-so? So I knew it was an issue. But um, we spoke. And you, she's a retired uh, teacher, teacher. She's so she's still so. Edgy. You can just tell she's a retired teacher. But I was happy that I spoke with her. She'll be home this week, mm-hmm. and um, we were gonna go see her at the rehab place. But she'll be home tomorrow, so there's no need for us to go out there. But when she comes home, we'll be here. Um, I have her numbers, and when she gets home, we're gonna go over there and program our numbers and everything, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna see if physical therapist or somebody's coming out and how often they're coming out. Um, because like we want to go over there at least in the mornings and at night, mm-hmm. but if she's falling, be- if she's falling, we don't want to put stress on her to have to get up and down. For her to have to continue so. to get up and down with us coming over to check on her, 
So we're going to go over and figure out all of that. So we'll be watching out for her to come home so mm -hmm. we can go over there um, and see who's bringing her in and see how it's going to go. Um, you know, Jaden will continue. We're going to go sweep her, um, sweep her porch and stuff we're before gonna she go, gets home. Lex is going to go sweep her porch and stuff. Jaden, um, you know, Lex will stop and get the trash and Jaden will take it to the dumpster. Um, and I mean, we're going to get her probably trying to figure out what we're going to get her for the holidays and, you know, see how she's going to be doing with that and things like that. But I'm very, I was very, although I was very sad that she had fallen, I was very, very, very relieved that she was okay, okay. Mm -hmm. because I was very nervous and I was just over the last couple of weeks. I just kept, we kept looking, 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 knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell and like, um, babe said or her packages and I was like well you know before she moved in we had a guy who lived it who had been here for like 15 years mm -hmm. then above him was a older lady who had been there for about the same amount of time and then above us that lady had been here for about 10 years so we you know they you know they didn't have any children there were no children in, mm -hmm. on, in this building but and we were all course, close it anyway we all had each other's phone numbers so we all could check on each other and, and did, call you know so, right, it's, it's very different. Now. It's very different because now they got some young kids above us who be smoking on pots, and just don't. Yeah. Then across from them, it's, it's some more young ones. It's some more young ones, and I think that they just did a horrible job placing those kids right here, mm -hmm. you know. And so we're always very concerned about her, you know, be um because she does live alone. Um, so you know, checking on her, making sure she's okay. Um, you know, that has become something no one asks us to do that. It's something that we just do. Mm -hmm. It's important, you know, it's important to do things like that and, you know, making sure she has what she needs and looking out on who's coming in and out of her place. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so. So more of the story is, guys, check on your neighbors. Check on your neighbors. I'm not saying you got to go sit and have dinner with them. Yeah, just just check, but just to it, make sure. it's nothing wrong with speaking and knowing who you live, who lives next to you, mm -hmm. and if there's children or there's not, or things because things can be going on that you right, have no idea. You about. have no idea, and yes, it's not in your home, but it can affect you, mm -hmm. um, whether directly or indirectly. It can affect. You. It really can. Um, just like last night when we came home. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, well, a couple of weeks ago, they had a whole fire truck out here. A whole apartment building was on fire. We came they home last night. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. We came home last night and smelled smoke. So we was like, where is it coming from? I didn't notice where it was coming from. And so I went back outside to get some of our um, some of our stuff. And it's coming from the other side of the building. So we was like, okay, that's not normal. So we went to go check around the other side just to make sure everybody was okay just from previous stuff that happened over here come to find out it's a fireman that lives there so he knows <laughs> to pull the little the fluke. fluke thing down mm -hmm. so he know he knew to pull it down but we were you know just concerned that to make sure that everybody was okay so right because it didn't smell like a regular just burning fireplace like mm -hmm. it was strong and like i said there was just a fire a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. and a whole one side burned down and like it was strong and it was right here and then when legs went out you could see it was heavy mm -hmm. like really heavy and we was like well people don't realize that there is a fluke and if you don't know what a fluke is like inside your fire i don't know if all fireplaces but i know here there's a piece a metal piece that's in up in your fireplace that you is a handle in there you have to go and pull it down so when you do burn your fire it's not receding back in your home or setting a fire and if you don't have a fireplace or you've never done that before then uh you don't know mm -hmm. and i believe that's what happened to this other place over there probably um and so lexus went over there and knocked on you know the doors because it's a, it's not all right directly right here on our side but we're the same builder they're just adjacent to us on the other side mm -hmm. you know and we got to meet um a fire guy Mm -hmm. A firefighter. He's a firefighter. We have a good bit of law enforcement who lives here too. Yeah. Um, 
you know, and, but like I said, it is good to know and real. We realized yesterday, yesterday evening too. There's another older lady that lives on the other side. That lives <laughs> on the other side of us, and mm-hmm. she was a little bit concerned because she could smell it. Mm-hmm. But she's, you know, she's probably older. You know, she can't get around that. You know what I mean? So it's good to know who you're surrounded by. Who you're surrounded by and what's going on. You ne- you just never know. So. Um, I know you heard the little bark in the background. So that's the daughter that needs some attention. So I'm about to um, rub bait down a little bit. <laughs> Get some work done. And we'll check back in with you guys. See you guys in a few. So hey guys. I am, well I've been home all day because I worked from home today. Officially. Y'all my wife is so dramatic. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> So, the first official day working at home was good. And I did not bother her today. No, she didn't. She was actually asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, I did get up because I had to go take Jaden some basketball stuff. So, I took a little break to do that. But, I think I'm going to like working from home. I like her working from home. I like that she's home. <laughs> So, um, I didn't start how I wanted to start this morning. I wanted to start early this morning, early, early this morning and really be done by the middle of the day. But my wife allowed me to sleep last night. She needed to sleep. She needed the rest. She, she needed the rest. Alexis was exhausted. I can tell when she's tired, tired. And yeah, so I just let her sleep and figure she could get it done, but I'll be waking her up because I'm usually up when she's supposed to be getting up. I'm always up, but um, she needed the rest. So I let her sleep in and she had a productive day. If I was your supervisor, I would say you had a pretty productive day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've noticed the trend now. Not, it's not even a trend, but get off of that. So, y'all know Stormy used to terrorize Rocky. Now, Stormy is getting her butt tore up now by Rocky. <laughs> and she keep hopping up here trying to run from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> he got her back. She don't know how to act now. She don't know that. What's wrong, babe? What's on your mind? I don't have anything. I got a lot going on. I have a lot going on. I have uh, a lot going on. Well, I know that. <laughs> so I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot going on, but God is good, and he's working things out. Mm-hmm. Um, stay tuned. We got, we're got we going to be doing some things. I got a surprise for the wife. Her birthday's coming. Oh, announcement, guys. What's today? Wait. Oh, just never mind. It's Vlogmas Day. I don't even know right now. But announcement. Lectuary this year will be on our couple's channel and not this channel. So you, if you are new to our channel, Lectuary is January. January is my birth month, and I vlog every day. Well, we vlog every day for the month of January. So those vlogs will be on our couple's channel for the year 2019. And we're just going to be talking about, I think we're going to spend our time on that channel for Lectuary, talking about relationships, mm-hmm. love, Doing some activities. I don't like when you look at me. Look at the people. I like looking into your eyes, but okay, I'll look. How you looking into my eyes from the side? I can see your eyes now. Now (laughs) I look into the people's eyes. Y'all see me gazing into y'all's eyes. But, um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to spend the month doing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll spend the month of probably January and February because February is our second anniversary month. Yeah. For the people that are new to our channel. We first got married July 19th mm-hmm. in Washington State. And when it became legal in all 50 states, we did another marriage license here in South Carolina in February. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So we're probably going to vlog every day in February as well. And plus, that's, we'll probably do every day on our couple's channel, but then we'll probably do a little bit maybe on the family because that's Jaden's birth, birth month. month. Mm-hmm. So, and we'll be doing the vlogging because he's going to be doing the hiding. 
So y'all know, yeah. If, if y'all can kind of tell, we first started off vlogmas with like a topic every day, but it's so hard to get either Trey to record and send it, or get Jaden to record. They're they're the teenagers, so they don't like to record. Or they want to record what they want to record, um, which is not a problem. I don't know. Um, they're so busy. Jaden Trey's in, in his exam time, and Jaden is playing ball. He plays twice a week. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, everybody's so busy. But that's okay. You guys will see a little bit more of them as we get closer um, to the holiday because they'll be around here driving us completely crazy. <laughs> and I do mean completely crazy. So, yeah, that's that. Um, what else we got going on? It's just me and Babe and our other two children, Roxy and Stormy. Roxy and Stormy. <laughs> Rocky and Stormy. And you know, y'all don't want to see them. They just running around in here. Matter of fact, I don't know what Beating they Beating each other up. That's I don't know doing. what they doing now. They too quiet. But They probably resting the tide. <laughs> They've been running since we let them out. Yeah, but today was a good day. I was happy she was home. I think I slept a little bit better today. Mm -hmm. I have been having like really bad anxiety and getting... Being in a lot of pain, I haven't been resting, but I actually rested pretty decent. The whole time I wasn't asleep, but I was able to kind of lay, relax. relax. Yeah. So they do have me coming in every other day <laughs> for the first two weeks. Um, I did email my manager or well, supervisor to see if I needed to come in because she said that they don't have chairs for everybody and they have new people starting this week. So I did email her to see if I had to come in. So I may jump on, um, I may get on about 5.36 in the morning because I know she's normally in the office at 7, 7.30. So around that time, it'll be the time for me to take Jaden to school and I'll have an answer by that time. So, yeah. Well, other than that, that is it for today, guys. That's all we got going on. Mm -hmm. We will see you guys at, out of there. Out the closet. Santa Paul's is not coming for you if you peek. So, we'll see you guys for another day of Vlogmas, guys. And please stay tuned for our Advent. Oh, yeah. The Advent video for today is coming out right after this video. <laughs> see you guys in the next video. I've been singing.